Alright guys, how's it going? It's 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm making a video. Consider this a public announcement. <laughs> and there's several reasons why I'm making this video to be honest. The first reason is, it's kind of good advice. And the second reason is, I'm fed up repeating myself to be honest. And I've seen this over and over again in Discord, especially with new users. And they always say, I'm having trouble rendering out a movie sequence. Now first and foremost, never ever render out a movie sequence. It just, it's problematic to begin with. But it's also really bad to do. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, when you come to the render settings, you might change the file format output to something like AVI JPEG, AVI RAW, FMPEG. Now, if you export out AVI RAW, you end up with 5 gig for like 10 seconds of animation. So it's not really productive to be honest. So what I recommend is always export out an image sequence. It just saves you a lot of hassle to be honest. Now you can go PNG if you're really stuck, but generally I recommend OpenEXR. Several reasons, you can do things like HDRI toning and things like that, and there's a lot more data in the image, but PNG sequence does fine. Take it into an editing software, something like DaVinci Resolve, there's plenty of free applications out, choose your poison and then compile the image sequence and render it out from there. Now why would you want to do this? Well, your computer could bug out at any time. You could be rendering a thousand frames and if it does that, you've pretty much wasted all that render time. Uh, your electricity could come out, a meteorite could come through and hit your computer. Who knows? But it's just bad. Another reason is, if you make a mistake on like frame 250, you only need to render out that one frame. And that's pretty much don't do it, just don't render out a movie sequence. If you're really stuck, you can do a render preview. I've got a video about that. And that's pretty much my public announcement for today. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that goddamn button. Follow me on Twitter. Take care.